Hello once again and welcome to my DIY desk. My name is Santi Louis and today I'm very excited to share with you a mod that allows us to have the arm disarm of the Airbus A320 just like the real thing. Now if you own one of these, you are probably like me looking for such a modification. But today I'm glad to share with you that we can do it. If you follow along the video, we will be installing this modification and uh, get this effect. Now first things first, before we proceed, I'd like to remind you that this is a strictly a do-it-yourself process and that involves risks in damage and uh, obviously also your warranty if this is a new unit you have opening it can void your warranty and secondly uh, doing it yourself always uh, poses with it some risks but as long as you follow along the video very closely uh, we, we do it nice and slow uh, we should be good still here All right let's move along so what are the things we need for this mod uh, first of all we need this tube here it's called a chrome tube or a brass tube plated with uh, stainless steel or chrome it needs to be 9 millimeter in diameter with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter you need about 50 or 55 millimeter of this and uh, of course that depends on how long you want the new handle to be. Then we need these two position toggle switch. Links in the description. Um, this comes with a roundish handle. This variety has a flat handle with it but uh, as long as you get the one with roughly the same length then you should be good. And of course we need some wires to connect that into the circuit board and just using this type which is a 20 millimeter in length it doesn't matter what's the terminal here because we're gonna cut it anyway and solder it and of course we have five parts here of uh, 3d printed uh, material actually there's six because this head here is made up of two I decided to separate the, the cap so that it has a cleaner uh, look into it and yes this is 3d printed it looks smooth because I sanded it and I applied a matte polyurethane uh, black spray this here is our uh, switch flipper the tube will be attached here and inserted into the, the stock uh, rod we have here the switch uh, bracket and this is where the switch should sit we have here the locking rails these railings will be installed inside the enclosure just below the, the slot here and of course uh, to fix these things together you need some CA glue I use the same type for my DIY applications you need a tube cutter because more likely the tube will come long length you need only 50 or 55 millimeter of this if you don't own one you can also use the standard handheld metal saw you need an allen wrench which is about 3 or 3.5 millimeter. I'm not pretty sure about that, but I'll explain to you later where this is used. You need standard stars uh, screwdriver. This is gonna be the first thing you remove. And this is where you need the two millimeter Allen wrench. So we have to unscrew this. Now this portion here is missing because I have already pre-removed it 
took me a while to figure out how to remove this little gear handle. And it turns out that this is using a tiny pin that crosses the handle, the metal handle, towards the other side. So, in order to remove this, we need a starting pin to push this off. Let me try my tester pin. There you go. You hear the nice click and it pops out from the other side. So all you can do is uh, pull it off with the pliers. This is it. This tiny little pin. And with that, you will be able to pull this off. Like so. Now, of course, in your case, it has to be here first. But I already pre-removed this earlier. You cannot remove this cover without first removing this and this. So with these two out of the way, next is to pull this knob, which is so you just pull it nicely, like so. There, you have it. So now you are clear of all the obstacles and we can begin unscrewing this whole case. This, this cover is held by six screws, two of which are in the middle, it's two here. The other four is actually uh, covered by this uh, rubber capping. Now, had I not removed the switch, it should be sitting here. Okay, so the reason why I removed the original switch from here is because I had never used the landing gear button here. I have my own DIY landing gear and auto brake panel. So I never use this. And secondly, I, I don't like to use this very small one in on, on a place where, in a location where it shouldn't be. I mean, below the spoiler arm. Right, so after investigating this, it took me a while to figure out how I can uh, place the additional switch. And I was quite glad to notice that this unit actually comes with these two screws here. And upon close inspection, I was wondering what is it for. So I opened this. I noticed that this screw is actually to hold this uh, tensioner. This is the tensioner that uh, you can adjust to tighten the tension of the this lever this is actually a bonus because when I when I saw this I finally thought that you know a big portion of my trouble is already solved because this is where I capitalize on the space and this is where this little turret was born these two holes here corresponds to that this, these two uh, screw holes where this thing can sit there and then you screw it in of course during uh, 3d uh, when uh, designing i carefully measured all the distances uh, 
down to the closest millimeter so that when everything sits in place you will get the precise uh, measurements Right, so now that the switch is in place, um, the next thing we need to do is take the, this part here, the switch flipper, and shove the rod in. Now, as you notice, this thing fits here nicely. So this thing will sit here as well. Nice fitting to uh, prevent you from rotating the switch legs. The lever, I mean, sorry. So, let's put it in. In actual in assembly, you would want to drop a few, few drops of this uh, CA2 around this, uh, at the, the lip of this. Tube so that when you push it in to the hole, just let the other end surface on the other side. You don't have to like push it through like this because this uh, part should sit nicely on top of this part here. So make sure that your tube levels off the surface of the other side of the flipper. It can be slightly inwards like that, or just level off like this. Now you have you have to do it quickly if you apply a bit of CA glue because you only have a very short time, or maybe one, one, two, or three seconds before the thing cures, and then you you will not be able to uh, shift the, the tube. All right. So in goes the tube on the original uh, run, like so. Then it goes like that. So the next step is to install the railings and the locking mechanism. Right, how this works is these two railings will sit next to the slot underneath the hood. So this will serve as the locking mechanism in the real Airbus. Once the lever is in the retracted position. That's the only place that you can pull up the spoiler to this ar uh, to, to arm it. Sorry. And once it's up, you are not able to slide it down outside the retracted position. So before you can slide it down, you have to push it back to this arm, and then you can operate the spoilers. And once the spoiler lever is somewhere below this uh, uh, retracted position you, is, it also prohibits you from lifting it up so this railing does that uh, feature now i cannot think of any way to to install this other than uca glue that means once it, it, it's in it's going to be permanently inside uh, under the, the slot but that's nothing to worry about because this thing is unobtrusive even if you uninstall this add-on it can stay there without disrupting the normal operation of the default unit 
you notice that on the surface there are uh, tiny gutters on the edges now the only use of these uh, gutters is to make sure that when you put it inside the thing will align uh, nicely on, on top of the uh, there's a protrusion underneath the, the window the other one is just a mirror copy which sits on the opposite side uh, I don't know if you can see it from here well, anyway to illustrate how it looks like after installation it's going to look like this like so this is how it looks like under the hood now, as you can see from the other side nothing appears unusual you won't see it until you uh, inspect it very closely so now that our new components has been installed we have here our new switch and our switch flipper installed properly the next question is how do we connect this new switch to the simulator now there are two ways I can think of to connect this I think the most the most straightforward way is to use a small Arduino like the Nano and uh, this should be small enough to fit to any of the space inside the case right it's pretty straightforward you can connect this to movie flight then configure the movie flight to have this switch program as the uh, spoiler arm but that would mean adding another USB cable to connect to the PC which is fine but for my case there is one particular button on the controller that I never used which is the landing gear I have removed the original uh, switch which is this one and uh, let me zoom in a bit these two pins here are the ones used for the gear function of the Thrustmaster controller so to illustrate further the, the existing switch of the unit this is actually the, the landing gear here so when fully retracted the switch is, is in this position that means it's it's in the off state now the switch has three legs here we are only interested in these two so when you when you extend the landing gear you flip the switch to the down position this is actually the on which closes the circuit of these two legs here so you flip the switch up the circuit opens between these two you extend the landing gear switch to the down position which is the on closes the circuit here that means we are only interested in these two so I remove this I remove this switch actually and with my new switch there are only two legs there I was I'm, I'm interested only in these two holes here so if you view the circuit board on the top position you will see the three holes like this we are interested in this now if you don't want to use the landing gear button of the, the default unit there's another way we can wire this to the simulator there are two buttons on the main thrust uh, main throttle unit that is uh, rarely used so we can tap the wire here but that means we have to cross 
the wire from from these two units, but we have we have to do it underneath. So it's it's pretty straightforward. We just drill a hole under the the base of these units somewhere here, and um, do the same thing on the the main throttle, which is this portion here, and just run the wire uh, probably with some uh, terminal connectors for easy uh, connecting and disconnecting and that should do the trick okay so this is now the soldered components this is our toggle switch here and this is the connection to the circuit board there is one very interesting note here that has something to do with, uh, with how the Thrustmaster firmware reads this toggle switch. Now, um, what I noticed is that the on position of the switch is actually interpreted the other way around in the, the Thrustmaster uh, firmware. So, for instance, this is actually the on position as far as uh, the wiring goes. This is the on position, but when connected to the Thrustmaster software, it's actually read as off. So when you switch off the switch, the, the toggle, this, uh, the off position is actually on as far as the, the firmware goes. So that being said while i mounted it initially like this i had to flip it like this that means the, the pins are on the upper position because what is off for this switch like that actually means on in the thrustmaster firmware so that explains the, the changes I, I made on the the toggle switch installation. Now as to the setup, it's pretty straightforward. For the fly-by-wire, you just search arm and you have these uh, two options here for spoiler arm and this arm. So for the disarm, you just set the button on release and for the arm spoilers, the same button but on the action type, you set it to on press. Now it's important to clear this binding if there's any existing one. The Phoenix was rather weird because uh, as if it knew that Trustmaster has a reverse interpretation of the, the button. So to set the disarm auto spoilers, I actually had to set it to the action type of on press instead of on release and on the other hand for the arming instead of on press I set it to on release took me some time to figure it out but it's the other way around for the Phoenix so that is one thing to note there and of course make sure that you clear any binding for the, this button Now, as far as the handle is concerned, why I 3D printed the exact same handle is because with the addition of the new tube, the old one cannot accommodate the extra thickness. Unless you actually run some uh, drill bit on it to make it bigger, but that will damage the original just in case you would want the original back without the add-on but I doubt you would. Now the 3D model has a slightly bigger hole to accommodate the new size of the rod and this is 3D printed and with polyurethane matte finish sanded first of course and you can use the same old Allen screw from the original 
And uh, by the way, I forgot to mention it that um, you need to drill a hole on the tip of the chrome tube using a three millimeter drill bit. So that way you can fix the uh, modified handle using the same screw. But for my copy, I didn't have to do that because the very first handle I printed has a rather smaller hole and kind of have a tight fit on the tube so uh, it is tight enough that I didn't have to fix it with a screw it manages to operate the switch without uh, some fixing so to finish this off with a bit of some touch I use this fabric that comes along with a new laptop you know as a cover on the keyboard I cut some strips from it and glued the pieces here I was actually looking for some material that has some brush on the edge but uh, couldn't find that so I think this will do for now and uh, just like in the real aircraft the handle actually has a white lining to indicate that it is on the up position now I cannot apply paint on this rod because I did try it but because there is zero tolerance on the on the slot here when you insert the rod it will actually peel off the paint so unless you can find a tube that, that already has a flat black uh, finish on it then that, that should be better so what I did instead is to cut a piece of vinyl sticker uh, which is a leftover from my previous prints and I just stick this on just on the front side because if I wrap it around this thing will actually get stuck on the, on the slot here so this is now the completed mod actually you can make the handle longer as you wish that depends on where you cut the tube so this is now the operation you pull it shouldn't be able to do it push it back move the spoiler handle pull it up nap can I do that can I do that here all the way to retract arm it yes so that's it now I received a comment from somebody who is a real Airbus pilot saying that the real spoiler lever doesn't have any detent on it except the 50% position yet the detent is subtle thank you very much for that info I didn't know that but these detents actually ship with Thrustmaster by default but there are two ways you can solve that the easy one is to just unscrew the dead detent component and flip it 180 degrees replace it back but that will remove all the detents on this uh, full motion of the lever another way which is needs a bit of work but will emulate the real one is we have to 3d print another detent component and remove the other detents except leave the detent on the 50% position and uh, make the slot a bit shallow so that the detent isn't as snappy as this according to his description I will create that so that you guys can get it for free and we can install it on your units so that we will have the detent which is accurate in real life so that's it for this video guys I really hope you like it and I do certainly hope that it helps those who have been looking for this mod 
please help the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so. Stay tuned because we have further enhancements for the Trustmaster TCA Quadrant to make this unit as realistic as possible. Thanks for watching and see you on the next videos.